evening everyone hi i am ankita sharma your master teacher and i welcome you in this amazing class of ntsc tomorrow is your examination everyone all the best in today's class everyone we will be discussing two states paper without wasting any time everyone let's start the class you know the drill everyone hit the like button for the video share with your friends and subscribe to the channel join the telegram group link the link is in the description box below apart from it everyone if you really want to learn something more if you really want to excel in your examination join the vedantu micro courses everyone this is a code that you can use and you can download the vedantu app the which website you have to go everyone you have to go and visit this particular website where you will be able to see n number of micro courses that can benefit you in your examination so kindly join the course using this particular link and you will be getting 95% of the off that's amazing let's start the class everyone i will not be taking much of your time i know that you are studying and i'm here just to help you today this is the paper of the uttar pradesh and of course one more state will come so let's start as you can see on the screen everyone the question is which of the following element is essential for the synthesis of thyroxine hormone very important right thyroxine hormone everyone it is secreted by the thyroid gland and if this hormone is in balance or if something is in balance it usually causes a disease goiter i gave you the biggest hint everyone yes you are right yes you are right that iodine will be the right answer in the absence of iodine the goiter will occur and of course this hormone our thyroxine hormone is really very is essential for a body and it will be produced only and only with the help of iodine in the body so everyone this is a really important question please put a tick mark in your head that you know this question by now moving on to the question number 2 everyone biotic components of ecosystem are what are biotic components everyone Biotic components are nothing but the living components, and abiotic components are the one which are non-living. So, out of which, out of these, which one are the biotic component? Seems like you already know the answer. Producers are there, consumers are there, decomposers are there, which actually makes the ecosystem. And these all are living organism, or we can say they are bio, biotonic, right? so with the right answer will be what all of these these are all living organisms they are very very essential biotonic components of the ecosystem everyone okay produces produce the food consumer will consume them and decomposers are the one which will be decomposing them after they are dead so these all are really very important for the ecosystem and hence play a really very important part next question everyone on your screen which of the following substances change to amino acids after digestion now everyone focus we are talking about the amino acid and here i would like you to see that proteins are here broken down with the help of the protease or peptidylase into the amino acids polysaccharides a favorite carbohydrates are been broken down by the amylase and into the monosaccharides poly means a long chain of carbohydrate disaccharide means two molecules monosaccharide means single single so they will be broken down to the monosaccharides nucleic acid will be broken by the nucleases into the nucleotide and fats will be broken by the fat digesting enzymes into the glycerol fatty acid very easy everyone everyone i'm moving aside please take a picture of this it's really important you can always revise in your examination so the answer will be what everyone the answer will be protein the amino acids will be broken down right and from where they are coming they are coming from the proteins so protein substance is changed into amino acids after the digestion very good everyone i hope you are answering with me if you like this video hit the like button and write in the comment section below how these question are helping you moving on to the question number 4 everyone causative agent of the kala azar or the black fever is from your class 
Ninth, why do we fall ill? And of course, the answer will be what? Is it virus? Is it bacteria? Is it fungi or it is protozoa? What is it everyone? The right answer will be what? Is basically this is a fever which is caused if the mosquito bites and if that mosquito have the protozoa. And specifically which type of protozoa we are talking about? We are talking about the Leishmania. Leishmania, Leishmania. Right, so we have this. And this is what everyone? It is a protozoa. So the right answer will be option number D that is protozoan. Now let's see question number 5 everyone. Which of the following is not a part of the female reproductive system in human beings? Which of these is not a part of female reproductive system? Ovary, uterus, Philippine tube and vasa deferensa. Very easy answer everyone. Vasa deferensa is a part of the male reproductive system. Whereas in female we have the uterus, ovary, Philippine tube and so on. So vasa deferensa is not a part of the female reproductive system. It is a part of male reproductive system and vasa deferensa carries the sperms from the basically can you see it is carry the sperms to the penis till the end okay now option number d is the right answer everyone now let's see question number six and from here telangana sorry it's tamil nadu this from question number six to question number ten are from the tamil nadu states everyone let's see these questions in some bacteria, outside the cell wall there is an additional slimy protective layer called as dash and it is made up of so there are two fill in the blanks we have seen that our bacteria are what everyone they are prokaryotes they have a cell wall and of course right they have a plasma membrane yes so bacterial have the capsule which is a slimy polysaccharide layer outside the cell wall so i will sound the cell wall everyone outside the cell wall we have this capsule which actually enhance the ability of the bacteria to cause diseases now it's really very important everyone this slimy layer will actually protect the bacteria from any harmful antibodies bo you know body cells that are coming to attack it this particular capsule will protect the bacteria and hence it's become really very important in the body. So according to the options, the right answer will be C. The protective layer is called as capsules and it is made up of polysaccharides. Question number 7 everyone, a lengthy question. Giving you some time to read this, which is, which is or are wrong about the adaptation of Hydrophytes. Now, hydrophytes, hydro, the one plant which lives in the water, everyone. Air chamber provides mechanical support to plants. Floating leaves are short leaves, stalk. Roots are poorly developed or submerged leaves are broad and big. What do you think? To help you more, let's see this diagram, everyone. Can you see, see water plants when they are in the plants? Usually, sometimes the roots are embedded into the mud. The stalk will be long. It's like it can, it's a wavy kind of stalk. It can be moved easily. Okay. And of course, it will be holding the broader leaves. Broader leaves will be there, right? So, hydrophytes have the floating leaves with a very long stalk. Submerged leaves are usually very small. So, the option that we find very, very suitable will be the option number two and option number four. Clear? Roots are poorly developed? No, it's not that the roots are very poorly developed in these plants. And the first option, air chamber provides the mechanical support? No, that is not the case over here. Let's see the next question. Yeah, people are nowadays scared with these type of questions, everyone. But I know you are not. So here we have a AIMS type of question. The opening and the closing of this stromata Due, is due to the change in the turgidity of the guard cells. Now, you know about the stromata. They are asking about the opening and the closing of the stromata. Reason evaporation of the water in plants through stromata in the leaves is called 
transpiration is it clear to you everyone now these type of questions what happen the first statement is a and the other statement is r you have to tell whether these statements are correct or not first of all whether one of its is is correct or whether a statement is there and the r statement is actually perfect reasoning for it right so the right answer will be the opening and the closing of the stomata definitely is due to the turgidity right the turgidity the water will come inside the cell wall will become stiff as it moves out the cell wall will become flaccid so yeah it is due to the turgidity and of course evaporation of the water in the plants through the stomata in the leaves is called as transpiration that is a loss of the water right everyone however transpiration through the stomata is not the reason of the first statement okay so what we understood that everyone this both statement are correct both statement are perfectly correct but the reason the r statement is not the right reason for the a statement so hence the option c will be correct in which what it states that a and r both are correct but r does not explain the a statement clear now after this let's move to the easy question that is question number 9 everyone when leech attached to the itself to the body of the host continuous supply of blood is maintained by the presence of dash in its salivary glands which of it actually helps in the attachment and of course which assures that there is a continuous flow of the blood and there's something present in their salivary glands on what is that everyone see how this beautifully they have explained okay everyone remember this name heliogen right is present in the present coagulation of the blood it will be preventing the coagulation of the blood this particular chemical will be preventing the coagulation of the blood's blood so that it cannot just form a clot okay and hence enables a leech to take the water sorry take the blood continuously without any break so very important chemical is there which is called as heliodin so remember everyone this particular name moving on to the last last question everyone which of this will act as a pacemaker of the heart easiest of all it is none another than our sa node sa node is present in the right atrium right atrium everyone can you see over here this is our sa node and it helps in the production of the impulse which actually makes our heart pump okay so the right answer is b which is sinoatrial node easy everyone we are done everyone thank you so much for watching the video i have fulfilled my promise that the video will be very short now fulfill your promise and get the rank in ntsc everyone all the best from our side don't forget to go on this particular link and browse through explore through the amazing micro courses that are there specially for you apart from it you can always download the app which has amazing stuff telegram group is there to keep you updated about each and everything join the telegram group link and everyone bye bye it's your teacher ankita sharma saying bye bye all the best from vedantu team do well everyone and write in the comment section below how was your exam i'll see you very soon bye bye